Good morning. My name is Andrew Lewis. I'm a Nutrient Maximizer Strategic Account Manager uh, covering basically Nitro Pyre and so NSERV and Instinct. And I cover all of Southern Iowa and Western Illinois. I'm out here in a field today and I'll show some aerial photos here in a second, but this was an NSERV uh, where a strip till bar ran out last fall. And so half the field didn't end up getting NSERV. So it was a nice little untreated check. Um, you know, there's a couple things that I'll show you guys as we talk through today, but I think this tells a great story of what we saw in 2024. And it was a fairly heavy nitrogen loss here. Um, you know, when we look at 24, I think everybody thinks nitrogen loss was just because of those April and May rains we had. But the reality was, is we started watching our nitrogen from a fall application really start to degrade through the month of March. And we made a lot of spring applications throughout my geography, even last March. And what we didn't talk a lot about was that March had unseasonably warm soil temps. And we started that nitrification process even clear back in March. And that's what really got us bit when I look at what happened in April and May this last year, is we had a warm March and then we got that April, May rain and we'd already started to convert some of this nitrogen into the nitrate form. And that's what ultimately flushed our nitrogen down some of these waterways. And so when I show you guys, uh, we had a pile of different trials over this past year, uh, full fall, full spring. And a lot of these we tracked and we pulled soil test right in the knife mark, both ammonium and nitrate uh, with us, competitive products, untreated acres all the way through. And we really watched that nitrogen hit that April, May rain. And we knew that conversion happened in March and it really did fall off. Um, when you look at a lot of soil nitrate tests that were pulled back in May of this year, especially across central Iowa, a lot of these acres were still calling for needing, you know, 75 to 100 pounds of nitrogen just to finish out the crop here. And it really did show in this field behind me here in Western Illinois, where we ran short of nitrogen. Both the aerial image and I will show you some yield uh, or some ear pictures here, but really we're looking at potentially a 20 bushel difference in yield on this farm alone this year between where we had NSERV and not. Typically on average, we'd like to talk about fall anhydrous with NSERV will make about a 7% yield increase um, versus the untreated check. And that's more than what we're seeing out here today. With that, I think we lead into the economics. So as we're getting some of these trials in this year, there is a true difference between products that we use out here in the field. Um, NSERV or Instinct Nitropyrin versus DCD or other products out here in the marketplace are very different when it comes to agronomics. Everybody tries to sell a difference as they're so easy, you know, from a handling perspective. But the reality is when we're talking about handling issues, um, some of these water soluble products are so easy they flush out of your equipment, but they're doing the same thing on the acre. And truly when we look at these trials that are starting to come in, you know, we're seeing a 15 to $25 difference on just revenue on a per acre basis. And the sad part is guys, you're paying the same price on the acre to get a product. So make sure you're picking a product like NSERV and Instinct this fall to make sure that you're gonna preserve as much revenue as you can. Um, you know, as we talk about economics this fall, you know, you think about nitrogen being probably priced at 40 to 60 cents. Um, and as we talk about spring acres, I think nitrogen is probably only gonna go up in price from here till now or till then. And the reality is we have to make sure we're, we're buying a proven uh, insurance policy like NSERV and Instinct to make sure that we're gonna keep it in the ammonium form as long as we can so that the crop has it next year. You know, as we're staring down the barrel of $4 or sub $4 corn, we gotta make sure that we have every single bushel that we can account for to make sure that we're adding revenue to the overall operation. But guys, it's gonna be critical that we use um, full anhydrous this year, just because of the price of that unit of nitrogen, we're gonna wanna make sure that we're, we're getting some nitrogen out this fall and make sure you're using it with NSERV and Instinct to get in a nice proven return on your investment. So with that guys, I'd like to have a little recap of 2024. We lost a lot of nitrogen this year, uh, but when you partner with a product that performed, it has been around as long as Nitropyrin has. You know, NSERV has been around for about 48 years, over thousands of trials, we've seen the data. We reduced leaching by 16% and we reduced greenhouse gas emissions by 51%. We truly do make an agronomic difference on your guys' acres. So make sure you're using a product like NSERV and Instinct this fall. Thanks. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.